now see here these are the given values of x that means these are the values limits of y when x is given we suppose the limits as y so what is given here given y equals to x squared to y equals to 2 minus x this is the lower limit this is the upper limit and if these are the values of y these are the values of x so x equals to 0 to x equals to 1 so what are given values are y are given in variables and x are given in constants we have to change this we have to bring the x in variables and y in constant now for that for first we have to draw the figures of these values what is y equals to x square you already have seen this this is nothing but the graph x square means parabola upwards so this is the parabola first thing this is a line you bring this in the intercept form bring this minus x to here it will be plus x plus y equals to 2 now divide by 2 by 2 by 2 by 2 so this will be x by 2 plus y by 2 equals to 1 this is the intercept form x intercept a equals to 2 y intercept b equals to 2 suppose this is the line this is the line see here this is suppose 2 comma 0 this is 0 origin and this is 0 comma 2 now we have to find this point also where the two line and curve intersect or let we have solve this one we are having y equals to x square and y equals to 2 minus x see here we are having y equals to y equals to so equate this two you will get x square equals to 2 minus x bring this here x square plus x minus 2 equals to 0 this is the quadratic form you can factorize two ones are plus minus so x plus 2 into x minus 1 equals to 0 so you'll get x equals to 1 minus 2 you just take only 1 because it doesn't go the in the negative quadrants so x equals to we have to take 1 x equals to 1 when we put x equals to 1 y will be 1 so therefore the point of intersection is 1 comma 1 that is he this point is 1 comma 1 x is 1 y is 1 this we show by x equals to 1 this is and this is we show by but we can draw a line y equals to 1 now we have to change in the previous class we already seen that when we have to change x into variables we have to draw a horizontal line when we have to change in x variables we have to draw a horizontal line for that you see if we take horizontal line you see watch carefully we go from y axis to curve y axis to curve means parabola if you draw a line it goes from y axis to the parabola y axis to the parabola till here but now after this parabola is not parabola we, we are going to the line from here y axis to the line y axis to the line that means from here to here y axis to parabola and from here to here y axis to the line so let me take two strips here horizontal strips suppose this is one horizontal strip and suppose this is one horizontal strip now watch here y axis means x equals to 0 so this is x line so from this line if you take x from this line you take x bring x here to here x equals to x equals to 2 minus y so this will be x equals to 2 minus y x equals to 0 to x equals to 2 minus y whereas here y axis to parabola so what is y axis y axis is x equals to 0 x equals to 0 to parabola what is the parabola from parabola we have to take x x is y equals to x square means x equals to root y x equals to root y so from 0 y equals to 0 to 1 x will be z x equals to 0 to x equals to root y whereas from y equals to 1 to y equals to 2 y equals to 1 to y equals to 2 x equals to 0 to x equals to 2 minus 1 so let me make the limits now how for you know, y equals to 0 to y equals to 1 we have x equals to 0 to x equals to root 2 in the same way from y equals to 1 to y equals to 2 we are having x equals to 0 to x equals to root y sorry x equals to 2 minus y now let me change the question i am writing once more the question what is the question see here integration x y d x d y its limits are x square 2 minus x 0 1 these are given in x that means these are y these are y so these are x so let me change the question how to change see here this one 
from y equals to 0 to 1, y equals to 0 to 1, x will be e x equals to 0 to x equals to root y. What is the question x, y? Because we have to integrate with respect to x, write first dx, then dy. Similarly, from y equals to 1 to 2, we are having x equals to 0 to x equals to 2 minus y. x equals to 2 minus y dx y dx dy. Now, let me start integrating. Now, this is the main step. Now, all we have just have to solve the integrations. Now, what we have to integrate with respect to x. So, y is constant. You write y as it is. Integration of x is x square by 2. Here also integration of x square is x square by 2. Only the difference is the of limits here. Whereas the functions are same. So let me integrate. Now integration of y equals to 0 to 1. If we integrate this x, we'll get x square by 2. Take out this 2 outside y. Now we have already integrated now. Put the limits here x equals to 0 to x equals to root y dy. In the same way plus integration of x is x square by 2. Take out 2 outside y equals to 1 to 2 y equals to 1 to 2 what we left here x square y 0 to 2 minus y x equals to d sorry dy so upper limit minus lower limit now see here 1 by 2 integration y equals to 0 to 1 if we put upper limit here this is root y if you keep here root y root square will get cancelled you left with y y into y will become y square now dy plus 1 by 2 integration y equals to 1 to 2 if you keep upper limit here in place of x it will be in place of x you keep if you keep 2 minus y whole square into y you see here if we keep x equals to sorry yeah we have to substitute x now x equals to 2 minus y square now you expand this a minus b whole square is a square 2 square is 4 multiply 4 into y 4y Minus 2ab, 2 to the 4y, 4y into y, 4y square plus b square, y square. y square into y will become y cube. So this is dy. This is dy. So let me continue. One more step. See here. Now 1 by 2 into integration of y square will be y cube by 3. So you have to write limits here 0 to 1. 0 to 1. No plus 1 by 2 into let me integrate here 4 integration of y is y square by 2 now minus 4 integration of y square will be y power 4 by 4 sorry y cube by 3 y cube by 3 plus integration of y cube will be y power 4 by 4 this is 1 to 2 you see here this is cube actually now you see here we have to substitute upper limit minus lower limit we have to substitute upper limit minus lower limit. You see, if you substitute upper limit, it will be 1 to 1. Lower limit is 0. So, 1 into 1 is 1 by 6. So, this will become 1 by 6 finish plus 1 by 2 into. If you substitute upper limit here, you see 2 ones are 2 to the. If you substitute upper limit here, 2 square 4. 4 to the 8 minus. If you substitute upper limit here, 2 cube 8. 8 fours are 32. 32 by 3. 32 by 3. If you substitute upper limit here, 2 power 4 is 16. 16 by 4 is 4. So this is plus 4. This is upper limit minus lower limit. Lower limit means 1. So if you keep 1 here, 2 ones are 2 minus. If you keep 1 here, it will be 4 by 3. So if you keep 1 here, it will be 1 by 4. Now once more you see here. Upper limit means 2. 2 square 4. 4 to the 8. 2 cube 8, 8 4 is 32 by 3, 2 power 4, 16 by 4 is 4, upper limit minus lower limit is 2, 1 is 2, minus 4 by 3 plus 1 by 4. Now, this is just solving of the equation. Now, better to take the calcium for this with, because we will not have any errors. You see here, I will solve little, then we can use the calcium 1 by, you see here. Let me take this as equals to 1 by 6 plus, this is 1 by 6 plus 1 by 2 into you know take it you see i am taking lcm here 8 plus 4 is 12 what will be here 12 minus 32 by 3 8 plus 4 12 12 minus 32 by 3 if take lcm 3 12 is a 36 36 minus 32 is 4 by 3 4 3 3 4 is a 12 36 36 minus 32 is 4 by 3 
Now let me see here what will happen. Now if you take LCM here, you see here, we are having 2 minus 4 by 3 plus 1 by 4. If you take LCM, it will be 12. 12 to the 24 minus 12 to the 24 minus 3 4 the no? minus 3 4 the 4 4 the 16 plus 4 3 the 3 1 the 3. Once more, you see here LCM is 12. 12 to the 24 minus 4 4 the 16 plus 3. 24 minus 16 is 8. 24 minus 16 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. 11 by so this will become minus 11 by 12. It's better to take the calcium and use these values 11 by 12. Sorry. So from calcium, it's better we will take the values from calcium. Okay. So let me take, I'll just try. You see here, this is cube actually. Now you see here we have to substitute upper limit minus lower limit. We have to substitute upper limit minus lower limit. You see here if you have substitute upper limit, it will be 1 cube 1 lower limit is 0 so 1 into 1 is 1 by 6 so this will become 1 by 6 finish plus 1 by 2 into if you substitute upper limit here you see 2 1 are 2 2 are if you substitute upper limit here 2 square 4 4 2 are 8 minus if you substitute upper limit here 2 cube 8 8 4 are 32 32 by 3 32 by 3 if you substitute upper limit here 2 power 4 is 16 16 by 4 is 4 so this is plus 4 this is upper limit minus lower limit lower limit means 1 so if you keep 1 here 2 1s are 2 minus if you keep 1 here it will be 4 by 3 so if you keep 1 here it will be 1 by 4 now once more you see here upper limit means 2 2 square 4 4 2s are 8 2 cube 8 8 4s are 32 by 3 2 power 4 16 by 4 is 4 upper limit minus lower limit is 2 1s are 2 minus 4 by 3 plus 1 by 4. Now this is just solving of the equation. Now better to take the calci for this with, because we will not have any errors. You see here I will solve little then we can use the calci 1 by. You see here. Let me take this as equals to 1 by 6 plus this is 1 by 6 plus 1 by 2 into you know take it. You see I am taking LCM here. 8 plus 4 is 12. What will be here? 12 minus 32 by 3. 8 plus 4, 12. 12 minus 32 by 3. If take calcium, 3 12s are 36. 36 minus 32 is 4 by 3. 4, 3, 3 4s are 12. 36. 36 minus 32 is 4 by 3. Now let me see here what will happen. Now if you take LCM here, you see here we are having 2 minus 4 by 3 plus 1 by 4. If you take LCM, it will be 12. 12 to the 24 minus 12 to the 24 minus 3 4 the no? minus 3 4 the 4 4 the 16 plus 4 3 the 3 1 the 3. Once more, you see here LCM is 12. 12 to the 24 minus 4 4 the 16 plus 3. 24 minus 16 is 8. 24 minus 16 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. 11 by so this will become minus 11 by 12 it's better to take the calcium and use these values 11 by 12 sorry so from calcium it's better we will take the values from calcium okay so let me take i'll just try now you take the value from calcium its value is 3 by 8 the value the answer is 3 by 8 so let me see the next question now change the order and integrate this is just from this is we have already done many questions watch here this is given x so these are the values of y so y equals to x to y equals to infinity what does it means x is given here so that means the values of y so y equals to x to y equals to infinity if these are the values of y this will be the values of x so what are x here x equals to 0 to x equals to infinity that is y is given in variable and x is given in constants we have to change x to variables and y to constants so let me start let first see what are these things are given y equals to x in the first class i shown what is y equals to x y equals to x the, is the line bisecting the angle of this this line will be y equals to x passing through origin 
and y equals to infinity means we have to go here y equals to infinity y equals to infinity so y equals to x to y equals to infinity now x equals to 0 x equals to 0 means this is x axis here y equals to infinity okay goes upside and x equals to 0 means y axis and x equals to infinity means you see when we go here it will become up to infinity so this is the this is the values we are having so you see here so now we see here so we have to change y into variable we already seen we have to change y sorry y from variable to constant and x to variable x to variable so when we have to change x to variable we have to take a horizontal strip let me take this as a strip horizontal strip okay so horizontal strip if take we have to go from x here to here x from here to here here it's x is 0 this is y axis so x equals to 0 and this from this this is the line this is the line now take the value of x from here you can say x equals to y so and change of variables change of order now change of order is we have to take x in variables so we take x equals to 0 to x equals to y you see here x equals to 0 this is from here to here we have to go from here to here so x equals to 0 to x equals to y now what will be the value of y here y we have to take constant so constant y start from here y constant y we have to take on this line constant so y equals to 0 to y equals to infinity y equals to 0 to y equals to infinity so adding once more this question 0 to infinity x to infinity e power minus y by y dy dx now this is given x that means this is the value of y this is the value of y so this is y equals to y equals to if these are the values of y this will be the value of x so let me change this one integration of now we have to change in terms of here we must get constant so what are the constant value just now i wrote y equals to 0 to infinity now we have to change x x equals to 0 what we have taken x equals to 0 to y y equals to 0 to infinity x equals to y e power minus y by y first we have to integrate with respect to x therefore dx then dy mm -hmm. now we have to integrate with respect to x but we don't have x here that means we have to suppose this as integration of 1 so integration of 1 will be x because these are constants we are integrating with respect to x these are constants so let me write like this y equals to 0 to infinity let me integrate e power minus y by y this is constant because we are integrating with respect to y x sorry so we suppose here one integration of one is x so we have to write the limits x equals to 0 to y now we have integrated already with respect to x so write dy now this is upper limit minus lower limit upper limit means in place of x y lower limit means in place of x 0 so if you put upper limit y it will be y here integration of y equals to 0 to infinity you write this e power minus y by y as it is if you keep upper limit y lower limit is 0 so this y y will get cancelled now what is left here integration of 0 to infinity e power minus y dy now we know integration of e power x is e power x so let me integrate here so integration of e power minus y will be minus y but you see here we are having coefficient minus 1 with y so we have to divide by minus 1 so i will take out this minus outside divided by minus 1 because your coefficient is minus 1 minus 1 means minus you write here now we are having 0 to infinity now what we have to write upper limit minus lower limit e power minus upper limit is infinity minus e power minus 0 always see here e power infinity will be infinity but e power minus infinity will be 0 e power infinity is infinity e power minus infinity is 0 so minus of this is 0 minus any number power 0 is 1 so minus or minus this will become plus sorry minus of minus this will become plus one 